kingdom of God. Welcome to Bean Boot Camp in India. At first, I want to introduce myself. I'm Mojtaba Ardeshir Lari Jani. I'm a civil engineer. I'm a specialist in tech life structures and BIM. I'm author and producer of the first books and educational films about building information modeling with tech life structures in Iran. I'm manager of Raffles Corporation for nine years and I'm working with Tecla Structure and BIM. In this part, I want to talk about Tecla Structures. Tecla Structure is a building information modeling software able to model a structure that incorporates different kinds of building materials, including steel, concrete, timber, and glass. Tecla allows structural drafters and engineers to design a building structure and its component using 3D modeling, generate 2D drawing and access building information. Tecla structure was formerly known as X steel. Tecla structure is used in the construction industry for steel and concrete detailing, precast and casting situ. The software enables users to create and manage 3D structural model to concrete in concrete or steel and guide them through the process from concept to fabrication. The process of shop drawing creation is automated. It's available in different configurations and uh, localized environments. Modeling scopes with Tecla structures include structural seal, casting place, CIP, concrete, and reinforcing bar. The transition of X steel to Tecla structure in 2004 added significant more functionality and interoperability, and it's often used in conjunction with Autodesk Revit, where structural framing is designed in Tecla and exported to Revit using the DWG and DXF formats. Albin goals and abilities. Provide optimal solution to reduce construction costs. Today, building information modeling has been widely used in the design, construction, operation, and even demolition of buildings. In general, the beam adds to the two-dimensional drawing and related specifications, 3D modeling components with a, a specific feature. That feature is that every member of the design shown in beam in addition to having its three-dimensional physical nature, has an array of information about the various activities and tasks of building management. This information relates to the entire life cycle of the projects, from the, from the stage of exploratory studies to conceptual design, the first phase of study, the logistic, the construction and installation, the period of operation and even its end. So, if you want to summarize the beam in a short sentence, the phrase will be the process of building and managing building information over its life cycle. In other words, a beam model is a 3D digital display of the physical and functional properties of a building. The major difference between the beam model with the conventional 3D CAD model is to store important information about the entire manufacturing process with all its components. That information include of several items, such as material specification, just like uh, weight, color, size, fire resistance, and etc. Assembly and installation guide, warranty service, maintenance requirements, component uh, price information, or uh, etc. Beam in technical term. A CAD model is connected to a database as it can store any project information. So BIM acts as a common source of information between the entire design and implementation team. The result of this integration of information is increased coordination, reduction of errors and waste, and ultimately improvement of the quality of work. It should be noted that BIM activity begins after the calculation and will continue until the completion of the projects in field of structure. 3D design. 
The 3D model, in addition to visualization, visualization of the completed projects from the perspective of the structure and development, also has an ability to exchange information about the systems, materials, and products used in its construction. On the other hand, it's possible to design or construct simulation of different scenarios and thus to analyze different options to the project team. Construction steps and design assistance. One of the important benefits of this is to allow the contractor and team to analyze and test the various methods and tools they need before starting operation. This feature will reveal the probable problems of the pending problems that if late discovered, they would face a real challenge to the implementation process. After discovering the operational difficulties, the contractor will discuss the subject with the designer to take action on the modification of the design. This review, on the other hand, can lead the adoption of quality standards and the assessment of the safety status. Display the model made on the computer with details such as washer, bolts, drills, burst, reinforcements, overlays, bends, and etc. Moving on the model and visiting the projects. You can move like an observer engine inside the project and visit the project from different angles. Executive drawings. It's essential to have the correct execution plans in the best possible way for each project. Our team is able to draw the most accurate execution drawing with an error rate of zero. Drawing of concrete, steel, and wooden structure, prefabricated structures, and, and etc., are available in cutting, assembling, and installation, installation modes with full specifications of the parts on the drawing. Programming workstation equipping. Workshop equipment planning is one of the major issues related to project management, which will have a significant impact on the overall success of the projects. The project manager and coordinator can review the proposed and existing auxiliary equipment, access roads, procedures for discharging the workshop in the case of danger and safety issue, planning and dedusting, positioning of crans and forklift, determining the location of material for building, collecting surface water, and etc. Decide option of quality standards and the assessment of the quality status. Scheduling and sequence of construction operation. Planning and scheduling of construction operation is one of the most important issue in the construction management process. This effort continue and continue to be monitored continuously until the project goes off the right path. By adding the scheduler data to the 3D construction model, the first dimension, which is the time, is at. The first dimension of the model helps project implementers to visualize the schedule and actually understand how will the correct sequence of construction operations in Tecla's scheduler. Like all management software, you will be promoted the schedule start and end date of project parts. But we all know, for different reasons, schedule time may differ from the actual schedule. That's why Tecla asked the actual start and actual end time of the project's different parts. Accordingly, it's determined the process of the project based on the current speed and estimate the completion time of the project. When the actual time of completion of the project is more than planned, the project is visually bankrupt. Here in the yellow graph, the true process of the project and the blue graph show the project process of the project. Here, BIM use scenarios and risk management, which will be discussed later, and we will save the project from bankruptcy. Construction costs. 
Each component defined in the project has an information about latitude, longitude, and height, and all that is needed for a quantitative estimate of the project. Therefore, by pulling out the components of the model and linking them quantitatively, the operational programs can be prices estimates of the project price. The design and the quantitative estimates are somewhat interdependent. With the slightest change in design, the quantitative and financial impl um, implications are readily available to all project parameters at the same time. Therefore, it's unlikely that the project will go ahead of the project cost and eventually the bankruptcy of the project. In a structure, you can um, accurately estimate the weight and number of cut sheets, the weight of the parts, and assemblies available, as well as the total number of bolts, and uh, for example, welding wires um, for different parts or different assemblies in projects. The precision of take loss calculation is very high for concrete structure, for example, when using traditional concrete weights in a beam or column, by multiplying the lengths and widths parameters and the mass of the units, the concrete weight used in each part is obtained. But my question is, if this part has an armature, is this method of calculation uh, give us the correct weight? Of course, the answer is no. As you can see in this picture, the weight of this column without our motor is 2,764 kilo and 800 grams. When we add the reinforcing bars, Tecla deducts the well, uh, volume occupied by the reinforcement of the volume of concrete used, thus determine the correct amount of concrete used in the project. With the addition of the armature, Tecla declares the weight of the reinforcements, 238 kg and 800 grams, and the weight of column will be determined by the arrest of reinforcements and the concrete of uh, 2,939 kg and 900 grams. This means that with the addition of the armature, the weight of concrete used to be reduced to 2,693 kilos and 100 grams. That's only in the calculation of a column. As an example, there are about 72 kilograms as are difference between the new method and the traditional calculation method. This column can be part of a large project that requ require uh, several million cubic. Uh, meters of concrete. Therefore, one of our most important goals is to estimate the correct amount of material consumed that has been um, calculated realistically. In calculating, uh, calculating the length of the reinforcement, it will also calculate the bending, le bending length and bending radius of the reinforcements. Tecla even has a very detailed calculation of the required cross-sectional color for each part or assembly, unmatched precision, which indicated the in, uh, importance of accurate estimation of projects. Integration of contractor information and supplier. It's very common for a component contractor and material supplier to create their own model. These models are more detailed than the original contractor model and include information that's not available to the original contractor. The above, the above information includes products, specification, construction details, and installation methods. Ultimately, this model has the ability to integrate with the original contractor model for complete synchronization and analyze of system in full detail. The cost and time saving in um, this early integration are very huge. Harmony between systems. Clash detection, identification, observation, and uh, reporting inter interface 
between components and systems in a 3D model. An example in this case could be passage of an installation pipe from the bin. With this feature, any interference between the components of the facility and the instruments is identified either with the architectural part before the workshop and in the model. Reports from many contractors have been documented to detect this interaction before it's executed. Obviously, identifying uh, components interactions before the start of construction operation will lead to a lot of time saving and cost. In the clash check section, because of the visual reality of the computer generated model, all of the administrative problems are identified before the start of the projects. As an example, there is a short distance between the two bolts that cannot fit the wrench, or many different problems that maybe happen in execute of projects. So far, we are talking about modeling that's almost common between three-dimensional modeling software, and we don't have yet entered management discussion and the project control with Tecla. From now on, we will be entering the dedicated Tecla software phase. Implementation of workshop design and operations. After full coordination of the design, the information available to determine the location of materials and system in the workshop can be applied. The model information is directly transmitted to the mapping equipment. <clears throat> Pre-construction. One of the advantage of modeling that may create, create many opportunities for improving construction management operation is its high potential for applying pre-construction model. With a harmonized model, isolation analyzes and optimization of any part of the project can be done. The concept of this is that the contractor can use prefabricated techniques to deliver various parts of the work especially for repetitive parts. Obviously, prefabrications corresponding to higher quality and lower cost. Risk management. One of the main goal of BIM is the risk management of the project, financially and timely. In this way, with the BIM model, the probability of a bankruptcy or a time lag reaches zero. In risk management, we will have proper planning of the overall stage of the project in time of crisis. In a project, each part contains the correct and complete specifications of the parts design, parts inspection, parts construction, and installation. In risk management, we will work for situa uh, situations where real planning, such as planet, does not go ahead to prevent a bankruptcy. Project management. One of the permanent problems in the construction industry is the lack of coordination between the contractor of construction, transportation, installation, and the employer. In beam industry, this synchronization are carried out and announced by various contractor on the specific date. In the correct management of the projects, you are planning to build the manufacturer in what order, how to install the components, and how to load the components and ship to the project location, and what order. It's an automation system from start of construction to the installation. In this way, you have a price as estimates that the manufacturer must deliver the monthly amount of the parts, how much the contractor should carry how much the installer must install, how much the parts should be installed, and how much the employer must be financially per month charge the projects. To each of these cycle that they have um, done their own risk management, we call a scenario. Transport management. Since each part has a specific length what uh, weights and heights 
And each machine selected for carriage has a length, width, and height, as well as load weight load for carriage. The software simulates the transport of the optimal transport mode takes into account. For example, in this project, the transport employer has a state the transportation which will have the capacity to carry 20 tons of load at a specified lengths and heights. As it's clear in this photo, these parts are, uh, are somehow mounted in the track, which given the permissible lengths and widths and heights are only less than 35 kilos of the maximum authorized capacity of the truck. In this project, the distance between the manufacturer and the project site is about 100 kilometers. In the traditional way, it requires at least 45 round trips for this project. In the new way, using the beam, this number was reduced to 37 times. That's the cost of round trip eight times the difference between the use of beam and the traditional way. Phase management. A project can be defined in the infinite phase of implementation phase. This phase can be based on manufacturing time, type of part, execution, execution blocks, or any desired item. Management of materials. Undoubtedly, uh, proper management of consumable in each project is essential. For example, in steel structure, the ability to accurately calculate the weight and number of sheets used in the project in the best possible way, the cross-section color, the paint, the number of electrodes required for welding, the exact number of bolts and nuts and washer with their specifications, and so on. In concrete structure, we also have the ability to calculate the correct amount of used reinforcements by considering the bending lengths, bending radius, overlapping, and so on. The accuracy of uh, calculation is so high that in a beam or column changing the size of the reinforcement, the amount of concrete used will also change. Project timeline management. The timing of the project has a direct impact on the determination of financial and human resource and the supply chain. So monitoring the timely implementation of the target is very large. This is a part of the BEAMS task. At the time of project implementation, the smallest predicted timetable that can lead to a bankruptcy of the projects is identified and possible scenarios are proposed to prevent bankruptcy. In managing scheduling, the actual speed of the project process is defined by parts per hour. Once the risk management project is done correctly in the project, the correct scenario is select and all the beam steps are done properly, we can have accurate estimates of the project at different time and see our project process in specific time period. The beam using the IFC industry can provide all this information to other software and user. Obviously having this structural information is necessary to prevent any clash in the implementation of the project for civil, architect, electronics, mechanics, engineer in projects. So finally, thanks to all friends. Also, I have a special thanks to the iWork Station Company, which is working to improve the beam industry in India. There are some ways to connect with me through LinkedIn, Instagram, and Gmail. Do you have any questions? Hello, Mustafa? Yes, yes, Adnan. Uh, Do there you any, have any questions? Is there any questions from anyone? Okay, fine. So, okay, thank you, Mustafa, for this wonderful session. You're yes. welcome. Thank you. Have a good time. Yeah. Thank you.
Okay, okay. So it's uh, it's a very good. Uh, I mean, audience you have we have. So thanks to all of you for joining us for this two days of Web Boot Camp. I hope we all organize such kind of events further in the. Yeah. Thank you, all of you. See you in the next event. Mm -hmm.